Hi guys, welcome to Simple Programming. Today we are going to look at Liskov's substitution principle. This principle explains how a derived class, if used incorrectly, can completely alter the program nature. Well, according to Wikipedia, if S is a subtype of T, then objects of type T in a program may be replaced with objects of type S without altering any of the desired properties of that program. What does it mean? Let us see it in action. Let us take a look at a simple example. We have a rectangle class with width and height and their corresponding getters and setters. We also have a calculate area method that multiplies the width and height to output the area of the rectangle. I have created a class square extending the rectangle class. Here it has its own method for set width and height. Note these methods are not overridden. We are directly assigning the inputs of these methods to the properties of the base class. Let us create a rectangle object from a square instance. Let us give a width and height and let's output the area of the rectangle. Now what would you think the output would be? Technically speaking, it should be 200 because that's what our implementation does in the rectangle class. If you remember, we have the area calculate area method in it, which is multiplying the width and height. Okay, I'm going to run this program and see what is the output. The output is 400. Surprised, right? Because the width input is 10 and the height is 20. So technically speaking, the output should have been 200, but we have got an output of 400. Where did it come from? Let's go to the square class. Do you see the problem here? The width is assigned to both height and width of the base class and the height is assigned to both width and the height of the base class properties directly. So now if you look at the Wikipedia's definition and if we put our square and rectangle uh, in the place of S and T, let's, let's try to reiterate the definition, okay? If square is a subtype of rectangle, then objects of type rectangle in a program may be replaced with objects of type square without altering any of the desirable properties of the rectangle program. We must make sure that the new derived class are extending the base class without changing their behavior. This is a perfect example of Liskow's principle violated. In my next video, let's see the importance of open-close principle. Thank you.